Okay, all right, today is upper body and we are going to warm up super quick. Uh, we are going to focus on your biceps, shoulders, triceps, and your back, okay? So each uh, muscle group, we are going to do two to three, I think two um, exercises, and we're gonna incorporate some dumbbells and bands if you have them, hopefully you do. Uh, so let's grab your band and uh, it be like a moderate um, resistance. It doesn't have to be anything really heavy. Um, we're just gonna start with some pull overs. So you're just going to, and if you can't get this, I know I'll say it all the time, don't force it. If you can only get here, that's great. Just open up the shoulders. I wanna stretch in your chest and kind of warming up by go, creating a little bit of movement in your shoulder capsule, right? So up and back. And if it's only here, that's fine too. Just go all the way to your thighs and back up as far as you can. All right, and then we're gonna pull it apart. And now activating those shoulder muscles. Then we're gonna take it down to the ground and we're gonna get into a tabletop position, which just means your hand, uh, wrists are right under your shoulders and your knees are right under your hips. And you're going to open up and kick through. Come back to center, knees are lifted, open up and kick through. This is not in your wheelhouse. Then you're going to hold your tabletop position just like this and maybe create a little bit of movement doing a down dog. So you can work on some shoulder stability doing this, or you can just hold it. And if this is right here, feels good for you, just holding the tabletop with your knees here, that's fine too. So all those modifications, you pick one exercise that works, but I just ideally would like you to have a little bit of weight in your shoulders and a little bit of movement and it kind of wakes your core up too, even doing this one it does. But if you're here doing your sit-throughs, you're just pulling that bottom leg under and kicking, okay? All right, and we're gonna come up to standing. We're just gonna open up our chest some more, a couple arm swings, a couple overhead, and a couple jumping jacks, and we will be good to go, all right? So we are going to start with our biceps and then go into our shoulders. So we, we're gonna need that band close by. So have your band, I'm gonna grab my blue one as well, if I can find it. Where are you? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna start doing a uh, hammer curl with weights. So you're gonna grab your weights and we're doing hammers. Then we are going to go into a band bicep curl, so now our, our grip is a little bit different, and we're just gonna go up and down. Now at the end, we are going to get into the fully lengthened position with a little bit of resistance on our band. So we're feeling, I need, to, I need to pull up a little bit down here. I want you to feel the biceps working, and you're just gonna do an isometric hold at the end of the bicep curl with a band. All right, so start hammer curls, and then we go into um, the band, all right? Um, this is going to be timed. So ready and go. Two shoulders are back. Three. Two more. And done. All right, grab your band. Go ahead and find your grip that works for you. I'm gonna probably use this guy. No, nope, I'm gonna use the, the blue one. All right, now your thumbs are gonna be pointing up to the ceiling like this, okay? Make sure you have a good amount of resistance so it's hard. We want each rep to be a struggle, all right? Make sure it's even also. All right, shoulders back, chest is lifted, and go. And you don't wanna rest at the bottom and you really don't wanna rest at the top. You wanna keep those biceps working the whole entire time, okay? Creating as much time under tension as we can 
with these muscles. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, rest, shake it out, ooh, and then grab your weights again. Um, hammer curls, now they're gonna start to get harder because they're muscles for fatiguing, right? Um, so hammer curls, if you need to alternate, do, 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 go for it, all right? Shake those arms out and go. This isn't gonna be pretty. All right, I wish I had a little bit lighter weight. Here we go, keep it up. I might have to alternate. I really need to get some more weights down here. Last one, see if I can get both of them up. Perfect, okay. All right, now, grab your band again. Here we go, step in. Oh, you know what? We forgot to hold it the last one, darn it. We'll do it the last two, sorry. It's like the most, my most favorite part about it. It's so hard. All right, relax your shoulders and think about your biceps. Making that mind-body connection really, really, really does help. I promise, promise. Oh, my family's coming back home. Might not be quiet for long. All right, now this one we're gonna hold. Hold, hold, hold. Shoulders back, feeling your biceps working. 10, nine, eight, constant tension in those biceps. Five, four, three, two, and one. And drop it. Okay, shake out your arms. Now if you pick up your weights and you're like, oh my goodness, I probably can't do that weight. Um, the third round so go go a little bit lighter so if you have a, a good amount of a variety of weight just drop down um to the next size mine goes from 20 to 8 so i'm just gonna grab the eights because i don't want you to look at my form and be like that's what you're supposed to look like because it's not all right so ready and go hammer curls nice and slow and controlled working on exhausting this each muscle group of our upper, bo upper body today. Thinking about the muscles as we're working them, okay? All right, three, two, and one, and drop those weights, grab your band. Ready? And you are on, okay? Right. Keep going, don't watch me. Gonna hold at the end of this one. Can't forget the best part. All right, and hold, 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 hold. back five four three two and one and rest oh those biceps i'm gonna shut this door so my family doesn't come down here okay all right grab water we're moving on to your shoulders so the next the next two exercises for your shoulders are going to be an overhead press and then we're going to go into a um Oh yeah, lateral band raises. So again, flip-flopping between the dumbbells and the band. I'll go ahead and have the bands here that I think I might be using. Now, if you don't have bands, absolutely, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, if you don't have bands, then just use dumbbells, um, maybe a little bit uh, lighter, obviously, for your lateral raise. Um, so, uh, start a little bit heavier overhead press. Obviously you can press way more than you can do a lateral raise. Most people can. Um, so heavy weight, we're aiming for about 
eight to 10 reps. So um, whatever weight you think you can maintain with good form for eight to 10 reps, that's what you need to grab. All right, ready and go. Now watch my form on this. Elbows are gonna be pointing straight ahead, not out to the side, so you're not gonna end up. I'm gonna come kneeling so you guys can see me. So you're gonna start here and overhead press just like this. Once you're done with your eight to 10 reps, so whatever you can maintain with really good form, that's what I want. Then you're gonna grab your band, lost track. I think that was like six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, if you wanted to do this kneeling like I am, it's really great because it really helps you focus on not cheating and using your legs. Um, I'm not really sure if this band is gonna be the best one for me. All right, so lateral raise. You're gonna grab your band, step on it, and you're gonna take your arms here. 12 of these, so look, I'm not going out directly to the side here. I'm kind of bringing it a little bit in front, in front of my body, but it's definitely not a front raise. Hinge a little bit of the hips and go. One, two, three, three. Forgot we're holding at the end of this too. All right, last one, hold. You can only get 10 of those, that's fine. I'll say 10 to 12. Five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. All right, shake out your arms. We're gonna do that two more times. Go back down. If you're down for your overhead press, and just make sure when you're pressing that, I mean, I have a, like a natural, pretty big sway in my lower back. So another a way to kind of get rid of that, because you don't wanna be like, eh, eh, okay? You want, whoop, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your glutes, anchor yourself in with your knees to the floor, it helps. All right. Ready? And go. Second round. Eight, and then I'm done at eight because I really want to be able to keep my form in check. Probably. All right, so grab your band. Ready? Lateral raise and go. Shoulders back, relax your neck muscles. A little bit of hinge in the hips. This is your last one. You're gonna hold it up as high as you can get it without elevating your shoulders here. Keep your shoulders pulled down. And done. All right, third round then we move to triceps okay we can do this <clears throat> all right oh that feels good on the back all right here we go you know i've been saying eight to ten but definitely just give me what you can get what, what you can give <laughs> and that's, that's like six to eight on that on this third round and it's six to eight Okay, if you need to alternate, you can alternate. And I think this is it for me, this is six. Oh, so it just goes to show you when those muscles get tired, 
if you're working them right and efficiently and effective, they'll fatigue out super quickly if you're using enough weight. And your heart rate gets up high. All right, grab your band, going to your last lateral raise. Ready, shoulders back and go. Now, I said 10, 12 last time, I might get like 10 and hold, or if you need to get to eight and hold, okay? So you um, are going to decide the reps. Try not to elevate your shoulders. So just think about your shoulders as you're working them. Three, two, and I'm holding here. You're gonna hold if you're not holding with me for about 10 seconds if you can. Three, two, one, and done. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, so don't get rid of the band. You're going to need to loop it around something high. And um, actually, I might need to put my wrong, put both of them up here. Uh, so loop it around something high. But first, we're gonna use, we're gonna use one dumbbell and it's got to be something um, that you can do an overhead extension with one dumbbell and it, um, you know moderate to heavy because we're not going to do a lot of reps mm. all right um, overhead extension with the dumbbell and then we have overhead tricep presses with the band and then we hold it kind of pulsing a little bit of movement at the end with the band, okay? Adding in those little little minute um, uh, holds uh, really does make a difference. Okay, especially when we're trying to get as much in in a 30 minute workout. All right, so take that weight over your head. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. So your elbows are bent here and you're gonna extend. You're thinking about squeezing your bicep, your ears with your biceps, and we're gonna shoot for 10, all right? So if you feel like you have a really easy, light weight and you could do more, then do more, um, but I'm gonna probably be good with about 10. And then you're gonna drop the dumbbell when you're done with 10. Now I'm gonna show you when you are doing this extension, you should be feeling it here, right? In your triceps, okay? Those are the muscles that we're working. If you're feeling it somewhere else, um, maybe take a video of you doing the movement and send it to me so I can kind of watch your um, movement patterns. All right, you're grabbing a band. You are going to walk away from the band and you're gonna immediately feel your triceps um, stretch, okay? So that's what I want you to feel. Then you're going to extend here so here and here feel the stretch in the triceps so i'm feeling them stretching and then i'm going to okay right here you should feel the outer of your arms here and those triceps really popping you're going to give me 10 ish okay so if that's 10, you feel like you can do 12. Remember, we've got three rounds. All right, to the end, you're gonna hold here and pulse, almost extend it all the way for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Triceps, hello. How are you doing? I feel you. All right, shake it out. We have two more rounds of that. Again, round two and three are probably gonna be a little bit um, less reps, right? As we go through, our triceps will be screaming at us. Okay, core's engaged, take that weight overhead. If you need more time, pause the video and take it. Another modification is not taking that weight all the way down like this, just shortening the range of motion. And done. 
All right, grab the band. Okay, I don't need you anymore. I'm just gonna pull you over here. All right. Here we go. Extend, extend. Feel that stretch. Extend. See if you can get your wrist straight at the end and they're not stuck like this. Does that, that make sense? Oh goodness. I'm gonna get one more and then I'm gonna go into my pulses, which is going to be brutal. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, I'm gonna write one more. I'm gonna even it up and rest. Okay, we have one more round and then we're doing your back and you are done, okay? I really like these like bam, 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 bam. You get a good pump, you get a good, solid workout and um, it doesn't take long at all. You don't have to spend like an hour in the gym, which I love because who has time to do that? I don't, nor do I want to really, to be honest. I do love exercising, but um, a lot going on. Um, okay, grab your weight. This is going to be the test. <laughs> How many triceps can we get in? Is it gonna be like six? Maybe, maybe for me, I'm using a 20. Um, or is it gonna be uh, higher? We'll see. All right, I'm gonna shoot for six. Maybe make yourself a goal. Try to get there. I think I might be able to do like eight. Yep, this is it. Woo! All right, okay. Shake it out. And also, if you're like, I need a little bit more time to recover between my exercises, take it, okay? But don't take too long, but if you need like another minute or so, totally fine, all right? All right, I'm gonna shoot for eight of these and maybe eight pulses. <laughs> like quality versus quantity. And here are my pulses. Oh dear, that is really hard. Whew. Okay, all right, shake out your arms and then I'm gonna walk you through what we're doing next. We're doing um, bent over rows. And then we're doing um, band, what are we doing? Um, oh, band, okay. Oh, and then we're doing um, a lat pull down with the band. So we do need this guy. Um, so bent over rows, we do these a lot here. And then I'm gonna grab a band and I'm gonna take it to an angle where you can see me, hinge a little bit at the hips arms are straight and you're just pulling straight down. You are absolutely going to feel your, um, oh, you know what? This is actually a row. Sorry, this is a row. So you're going to pull back, hinge over and row. Um, now I'm doing this with one arm because I want you to see my elbow. The more you pull your elbow here, the more it's like takes it out of right here. I want to focus on this right, this muscle right here. So we're gonna have a good bit of tension in our bands and we're going to only take our elbow to right where our side is. I don't want you to go oh, and squeeze it way back behind your body. So get it a little bit of pull here and then just take it right here to your side. All right, so rowing. Now rowing is a different story because we're going to be pulling the elbows a little bit past your back, right? Um, but that's going to be a different movement. All right, so three times through, uh, we are gonna hold at the end of that one as well. So with the band. All right, so holding the weights, hinge over, and we're going to do, depending on your weight, uh, like 10 of these, okay? So one, two, three, flat back. Four, 
All right, now drop it and you're gonna go into a row like, ooh, like this, pull in here. All right, let's do 10 of these. And then you're gonna do a 10 second hold at the back of this movement here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Think about these muscles right here working. 2, 1, and done. All right, round that back. Grab water if you need it. Two more rounds and then it is, it is done. Your workout is over. All right, so if you need a little bit longer, um, take it, absolutely. Um, we're going to start. So hinge over. Remember, see if you can keep that spine nice and neutral when you're in that hinged position. And go. Two. All right. Drop those weights. Grab your band. Feel a pull right here and here, and go. Remember, stop right here. Two. And then hold it at this one and pulse, or, or just an isometric hold. Keeping your neck nice and neutral. 10 seconds total and done. All right. Woo! Last round. I'm so excited. It's like afternoon here and I usually don't work out in the afternoon. So it kind of feels good that I actually motivated myself and did this. All right. Ooh. Okay. Ready? Yes. Even I have a hard time motivating sometimes. <laughs> Um, okay, all right, hinge and row. Ready? And go. And 10. All right, done. Here we go. Oh, it feels good to just kind of like hang here and feel those muscles pull. Okay, ready? 10 and 10. And then you are done. And then here, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. You made it, you made it. So cool down, maybe do some stretching, some pulling, some rounding of the back and opening up. Um, another one I love to do for um, shoulders and chest and biceps is this one right here. You can put your arm against um, a pole or a wall and just open up into it like this. Or if you have something you can pull apart like so, that's a good one. If you have something that you can hang from, that's another great kind of way to end your workout, to decompress that spine. Feels amazing. Um, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we will see you uh, really soon.